Hi everyone! So now I'm on my third video of the day, so I'm still in the same outfit, but I'm going to be doing a empties video. I have quite a bit. I always feel like every video I have so many empties, so we will try to get through everything as usual. Well, sometimes I switch it up, but I'm going to do my non-wax empties at the end, and we'll do wax empties at the beginning here. Um what do I want to do first let me do clamshells so first one this is a tried and true I've melted this a few times already I have a lot of these in my collection thanks to my friend Eugenia she gave me a ton of these for Christmas so I melted one of these um, better homes and gardens vanilla cookie crunch vanilla and cookie crunch shortbread cookies buttercream vanilla scent notes so good so long lasting I will just say this along with most a lot of vanilla scents anyway it does stain the warmers quite a bit so you're gonna have to clean them out a little after you use this but it's so good it's so worth it really enjoyed that i have just one scentsy um bar and this is in luna this is a beautiful beautiful scent um not to me it's not like a powerhouse scent but it's very beautiful and like gentle and just a pretty nice, consistent kind of light to medium scent. It's really pretty though, really unique. It is in my club right now. I wanted to warm it because I am getting another bar of this in my club. It should be coming today. We'll see. But um, I wanted to warm it to see if I wanted to keep it in my club. I might keep it in my club like one more time then maybe take it out. I'm not sure. I'm kind of undecided, but it is very pretty. Um, I have a lot of super tarts actually. So I wanted to warm through a few of my super tarts clams because at this point I had them in my collection for a while now since like uh, December, some of them I got, um, February, some of them I got. So they're definitely cured by now. This one's very punny. Um, this one was definitely heavy on like the watermelon, so it's boysenberry, watermelon, mango. Ugh, sorry. You, Super Tarts clams smell very plasticky, so it's, it smells a little watermelon and a lot of plastic, but I didn't get any plastic note on warm. Um, definitely heavy watermelon, like kind of that chapsticky artificial, artificial watermelon scent with a little tinge of extra fruitness, but you could definitely have to like watermelon to like this one. It was nice, like a medium to strong throw, but like not something I feel like I must repurchase right away, but I enjoyed this while I warmed it. And that's kind of the theme with a lot of the super tarts that I warmed. Like I liked it, I enjoyed it while I warmed it, but like nothing really stood out to me, at least in this round of empties of what I warmed from super tarts. This one's Charmed Melon, Kiwi, Sweet Berries, Apricot. So a lot of these are from the Fruity and Berry pre-order. Um, so this one, I write notes on the inside. You can kind of see the shadow of my notes. I said it, it was really good and I joined it, enjoyed it while I warmed it. Again, melon heavy. Whenever there's that melon note, I feel like melon kind of does take over the blend sometimes. To me, I said this one was on the lighter side and not super long lasting personally for this particular clam. So, you know, not a standout probably when repurchase. Raphael, this is strawberry watermelon candy. Um, let's see, definitely heavier on the watermelon. I like barely smelled strawberry. Again, like I said, anything mixed with like a melon scent, I feel like melon is overpowering. Um, this is a nice like, summer scent like you know the bright candy watermelon like it was it was nice enjoyable but i can get like a nice watermelon scent from any vendor so probably not an immediate repurchase or anything uh this one's wild berry sweet cakes wild berry mousse buttercream cupcakes pink sugar on like paper i thought i was gonna love this and want to write it down for like a future pre-order but you know what i didn't like it didn't like stand out in my mind. I like enjoyed it while I warmed it, but it wasn't anything where I would walk into the room and be like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, you know, I definitely enjoyed it while I warmed it, but I don't 
know it was just okay like there was none of these notes was super like distinguishable for me when I warmed it like I thought I was really gonna like the wild berry mousse or really gonna like the pink sugar thought the pink sugar would come out a lot but I didn't really like pinpoint any of these particular notes um it was good though it was like a medium to strong thrower just nothing that stands out in my mind that I like want to immediately repurchase this one's Annabeth. I think these two I got in my wax swap with Caitlin. This one's Annabeth Saltwater Taffy Pink Sugar. This was really, really nice. It was basically pink sugar plus a little extra sweetness from the saltwater taffy. Um, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this while I warmed it. Um, really nice, but I like pink sugar usually from any vendor, so it was good though. And then the last one I have here from Super Tarts, yes is pita this is french baguette butter brickle and coconut i just wanted to show i'm not sure how old this one was because again it was kind of in a wax swap but i've i've heard that this can happen too like the clamshells from super tarts can get like very squishy i don't know if you can like see it super well but like the sides are very like squishy it's not like a hard plastic anymore i think their wax has so much like i don't know scent oil or something that it kind of maybe like eats through the plastic a little bit but um you know you definitely don't want to have these clams sit in your collection for a super long period of time because it might go old like the in the clamshell or you definitely don't want like the plastic scent seeping into the wax so just just to let you know i think that happens after maybe like a few years not too sure i don't have wax i don't have clams old enough that they've kind of started doing this on me but i have heard that that happens so i was kind of like playing around with with this clamshell a little bit um okay i have one bathing garden clam and then maybe i'll go over my bathing garden my other bathing garden scent so i have a handful of bathing garden samples that i was able to kind of work through um these last couple weeks i just bathing garden is something that I have a ton of in my collection you guys can see my past bathing garden videos but it's like so pretty that I never reach for it and I've also heard the longer you let bathing garden sit the better it is some people say years worth of cure time so I was never really in a rush to start warming it but I have so much that I'm like you know what I should just start enjoying it a little bit start warming some of the samples my bathing garden samples bin is like overflowing so I'm like you know what let me just do it every now and again on a tea light um so that's what i did here with this clump of bathing garden samples but the first one i want to talk about the first and only clam i have from bathing garden is blush this is boysenberry elderberry strawberry guava and pomegranate with soft note of vanilla this is actually from this year's valentine's day collection i wasn't sure how i was gonna do because like i said some people say really recommend like the longer cure time the better but I thought this, this was great. I thought it was like a strong performer. And this is just from this year's Valentine's collection. A very bright, fruity, berry mixture. Um, really nice, like, like I said, kind of strong throw. I did this in the office while I was working one day. Definitely smelled it throughout. It kind of reminded me of like a candy note. Like it was very bright, sweetie, sweetie. <laughs> bright berry sweet fruity note it was really good i thought performance did just fine even though it was from this year's valentine's collection i have a few more of these in my collection so that's why i was like you know what let me just go ahead and give it a try if it doesn't perform good i have other ones that i can try later on but i thought this did great i'm gonna breeze through these samples um you know i don't want to this video is gonna already be a long one so i'll just kind of try to talk through these quickly the first one was strawberry cheesecake. I think I got this in maybe like a Valentine's Day sample set. It was a really cute like um, strawberry shape. It was a little bit artificial smelling. To be honest, I didn't get much of a scent throw. It might be kind of the, I might say kind of overlapping scent things about these. And I think it's partly because when you just have one little sample, it is really hard to pinpoint if you're smelling it or not, like scent throw wise. Um, so I don't necessarily fault these. I just think it was such a small amount of wax. But um, yeah, it was just so, so cute. But I, I didn't get much of a throw from this particular one. This is candy corn, a cute little sample. Very, very faintly sweet note 
when I smelled it up close and all of these I did in tea light warmers. Maybe I did them, a few of them in my bathroom, but the majority I just did in a tea light warmer. Just, you know, extra hot to really try to get like the scent throw to spread a little bit, but yeah. So um, kind of a, a sweet note when my nose was in the warmer up close, but really not a, much of a scent throw at all. This one was Springtide, Springtide? Springtide Mint. This was kind of like, this was an interesting one to me. It was like a body care fresh scent with a little bit of like a slight pepperminty scent. Definitely interesting. I did smell this one. I definitely got a bit of a mint scent. It just wasn't like my favorite on warm. This one was Dancing Elephant. Super, super cute elephant shape. To me, it was very floral and powdery, so not a favorite. Um, that was strong though, because I remember doing it in my bathroom warmer and walking in and smelling it. This one was Lemongrass Sorbet. Um, very, very bright, slightly tart lemon, leaning kind of cleaner lemon. And I did make a note on here that this one was strong. Marshmallow Frosted Mango Tangerine. This was a very nice creamy sweet orange. Almost gave me cereal vibes. You know how some cereal vibes are kind of like an orangey, lemony citrus scent? Um, I definitely kind of got those vibes a little bit. This was like a medium performer. Lime Zest and Watermelon. Very nice. Again, a pretty strong little sample. Mainly all I smelled is watermelon on warm. I really didn't get much of a lime zest scent. This is It's Always Tea Time. Smelled a little floral with a little bit of citrus. I'm sorry, I don't really have the scent notes with me on the little samples. Um, I don't... I don't know if I like entirely loved it. I mean, I didn't mind it, but it wasn't like anything that I feel like I jumped to repurchase. Ode to Love, floral scent, a little powdery leaning, I would say. Maybe a touch of a citrus note is what I was maybe picking up. I thought this was a pretty nice like springtime scent. Harley Hearts Joker. Um, this was like a shortbread coconut cookie kind of bakery scent. Very, very pretty, but I don't think it was like the strongest scent in the world. It was, you know, gentle, lightly bakery, but not super, super strong. Cinderella would be jealous. Um, when I put this in the warmer to my nose, like if my nose was right in the warmer, I kind of got a little bit of the smell, but... Um, it didn't really throw throughout the room or anything, which I'm fine with because I didn't love the scent. I I don't know. It's this is gonna sound really weird, but I I wrote on the note here on the back that it kind of reminded me of something like in a hardware store. If you were to walk into a hardware store, maybe in like the lawn care aisle or something. I don't know if it reminded me of like a fertilizer or something. I'm not sure, but I didn't love the scent on Worm, so I'm actually kind of glad that didn't throw throughout my apartment. This was Marzipan Princess Cake. I'm pretty sure this came in a sample, like a little sam like Valentine's Day sampler. And I did look in my order history. I got this one in the Alice in Wonderland collection. I'm pretty sure that's what it was in. I got a jumbo clam of this and I'm so happy. This was a powerhouse scent so strong and I'm kind of surprised because I didn't think it was going to be because it was kind of like a bakery scent. It was like a cream sponge cake marzipan kind of a scent and it was so good. I really liked it. Really liked it a lot and so happy I have a large clam of it coming. This is Kiss Me Silly. So these aren't samples. These were like actual shapes that you could buy. That's why I wrote the scent notes on here. Again, this was from the Valentine's Day collection. This was kind of like an artificial strawberry chapsticky scent to me. Um, not gonna lie though, this one was a little bit on the light scent, light end. Um, psychedelic circus flower, so strong. Orange definitely comes out on warm, but don't get me wrong, it is a heavy floral scent, so you have to like floral to like this. It was a powerhouse. If you like that kind of orange mixed with strong floral, this is a great scent to try. Powerhouse scent, long lasting. Neroli Orange Blossom. So again, this is an orange floral scent, but I thought this psychedelic circus flower was stronger than this one. It also had a slight earthy greenness, maybe maybe like a stem kind of a scent. Um, this was another strong thrower though. 
And then the last one I have is Little Black Dress. This was really cute. It was actually in the shape of a little black dress with tons of sparkles on it. This smelled like a deeper nighttime kind of sultry scent. Um, definitely a scent kind of out of my comfort zone. Not anything I would typically go to go towards to warm, but it's kind of something fun to try something different. Um, I don't think I need more than like the, the dress shape. I think it comes in a pack of two little dresses. Don't think I need more, but it was fun to try something different. So those were my bathing garden. I have three of these swanky candle um, scents and these are from my bakery mystery bag that I grabbed. Um, this one's in Lullaby Lavender Strawberry Pound Cake Fireside Cream Cake. The Fireside Cream Cake was strong on cold, but it was really nice on warm. On warm, definitely lavender um, and strawberry pound cake. Strawberry pound cake I definitely came out on warm. This was very nice. I've been really impressed with the Swanky that I've worn so far. It's very strong and I cannot wait until she does her next pre-order. I will definitely be participating because everything that I've done so far has been great for me. Throws very, very strong. Not necessarily the longest lasting, but very strong while it's going. This is Iconic Hard Candy Strawberry Pound Cake. This was strawberry pound cake to me, with some extra sweetness. Great performer, love this. I, like I said, I wanna pick up more if I can next pre-order, which hopefully she'll announce soon. And then this is Buttery Toast and Jam Strawberry Pound Cake. I think I was watching one of Just Jenny's old videos. Um, well, not super old, but one of her um, Swanky Candle Co. hauls. I'm pretty sure, or maybe it was one of her um, Should You Melt This videos. But I'm pretty sure she said that the buttery toast and jam gives her um, blackberry jam butter cookies vibes. And I get that too. I'm definitely not a huge fan of blackberry jam butter cookies. But this was still enjoyable because I thought the strawberry pound cake really did come out. And I just need to try them a little bit more, the buttery toast and jam. But it does a little bit come off as butter cookie jam blackberry jam butter cookie to me so I go back and forth with this one I thought it was a great performer and when I got whiffs of the strawberry pound cake I definitely liked it but if I got whiffs of the buttery toast and jam I was kind of like eh, it's okay you know but good performer um doo -doo -doo. let me do let me just do my body's harmony so I have some body's harmony bags here but I also have some samplers I did so the first sampler I have is not in a bag because I actually ended up using the little organza bag it was in and repurposed that but these first six scent shots were a Victoria's Secret type sampler I'm not going to talk about them each individually too long but I'll show them all as I'm talking so all of them I do in my bathroom typically. Um, and I think they're all like great performers. I really liked them all. I keep, typically keep them in my bathroom warmers for about a day, day and a half, two days, as long as I can still smell them. And I feel like they do great. I do this whole little sample shot because it's it says it's one ounce. Not, not sure if that's like the size of the wax, but it's about a one ounce scent shot cup. So I can do the whole thing in a warmer and I love them. I love Bodies Harmony. Yes, every once in a while you might get a little bit of a light one, but for the most part I get great performance from Bodies Harmony. So this was her Victoria's Secret sampler. It was six scent shots and she decorates them kind of cute. As you can see, this one had a little snowflake in here. I just put it back in the little scent shot cup. So really like those. Honestly, I'm a sucker for Bodies Harmony um, little scent, scent shot samplers. I really like them. Then this other one I did was the Lush Dupe Sampler. Um, I probably, I'm not going to go through all these ones like I did with the other one, like how I showed them. It's just your typical Lush samplers, or Lush types. Again, very strong, did it in my bathroom, let it go like a full day, day and a half, whatever, how long it lasted. But this one kind of made me realize I actually am not a big fan of a lot of Lush type scents. Yes, I did like a few of them, but the majority of them 
didn't really care for. Um, nothing against Bodies Harmony because they performed great. They did great. I just, yeah, I just don't think I'm like in love with a lot of lush scents. This kind of made me realize that. But good performing melts. Then I have a lot of scents from various releases. This, let me find the ones I was, I did kind of together. Was it these ones? Actually a handful of these I'm warming today. And let me tell you, they are strong. So a lot of these are from their springtime release. I don't know, sometime I guess, sometime, well I got these sometime in like February or March, I'm assuming, because these were all poured in February. Um, so strong, powerhouse, like blowing me out of the house strong to the point where like it got kind of warm today so I shut all the windows, turned on the AC, but it was to the point where I was like, whoa, like I was borderline thinking of turning off the AC and opening the windows because it was that strong. So this one's spring is in the air, beautiful day, garden, lilac, salty sea air, so strong, very floral, so strong. This one's Garden Gardenia Garden. This was so nice. Again, so strong. Very nice mix of la laundry and floral. Spring is near. Peony Cotton Amber. Again, powerhouse. All of these, so strong. Really nice springtime, fresh floral laundry scents. Very good. Strawberry Bread Glazed Donut Pie Crust Crushed Sugar Cookies. Um, this I think got overpowered by another scent I was doing just because these scents are not the biggest. So I did this with a Broadway wax scent, which I guess I'll talk about when we get to, or let me just talk about it a little bit now. I did these two strawberry scents together. I think the Broadway wax one overpowered this one. Um, this one was strawberry pound cake, vanilla pound cake, sugar cookie royale. So I did them because they're heavy strawberry bakery scents and this one I thought was very, very strong. But I'll talk about it more when we get to Broadway Wax. So I did them in like alternating warmers. Um, so to be honest, I can't talk much about this one just because I thought it got a little overpowered. This one was O Peeps. Peeps Cupcakes at Tiffany's Twinkies Pie Crust. Definitely the Cupcakes at Tiffany's was the strongest in this one. This one was strong, medium to strong throw. Bunny Hop Sugar Cookie Dough Sweet Vanilla Buttercream Marshmallow. Not sure if I smelled this because I mixed this in alternating warmers when I was doing this O-Peeps and I definitely smelled cupcakes at Tiffany's. So I don't know if I particularly noticed this one. This one was stronger. Lemon Laundry, holy cow. This again was a powerhouse scent. I even wrote a note on here. This was like a sh one of the strongest scents I've had in a while. This like, I'd had it in my office one day while I was working and I was like, overpowered with lemon laundry it was really good but so strong like one of these little like three leaf clovers you could have done and it would have filled a room and I did all four of them it was very strong but that's a good thing so that was my body's harmony um let's do some l3 so this is my only body care item so non-wax but it's from l3 so I'm just going to talk about it this was an extra moisturizing whipped body frosting. This was from a pre-order, a couple pre-orders back. This is in Lighting the Menorah. I love this so much. Towards the end, I was babying this because I did not want to finish it. Um, I was just using like little at a time. So it's strawberry jam filled donuts topped with icing and sprinkle of sugar on top. Oh my gosh, if I saw any strawberry jam scents, I would totally get more. Like I scraped this absolutely clean. I, when I put this on my body after showering, I, I just loved it. I couldn't stop smelling myself. It was so good. I would totally repurchase this again. I like the formula. I love the scent. Nothing wrong with this at all. And I love the little plastic spoon chillas they add in here because if you're like me, I do not like getting gunk and lotion under my nails, so I liked that they included the little spoon chilla to scoop out the product with. Loved this. Okay, two scoopables I did. This first one, I had to finish it. It was so good though. I have a lot of a lot of these left. I have like two more scoopables, a few bitty betty, so I'm set. 
but I just started noticing that this one looked like it was getting a little old because as you can kind of see there's some like oil loose in the bottom there it just started getting I don't know if you can tell can you see like the little drips of like oil kind of on the side there so I just thought you know what I better get to using this one I don't want it to get too old but boy it did so good and this container smells amazing so strong if you see strawberry zucchini bread you need to get it it's amazing I mean and a powerhouse scent so long lasting like it's still definitely one of my ultimate favorites from L3 and that's why I did not want to finish it up but I finally thought I would because like I said I just noticed some of the oil starting to gather but so good I love this one then I finished this waffle cone sweet cream whole vanilla bean coffee bean really really nice I mean can't go wrong with a coffee bakery um I did this a lot of a lot of the time with other coffee scents like I love to mix scoop of wax harder wax alternating warmers like I like to just I'm I'm a big blender I like to mix and match and I'll also mix and match throughout different vendors I know some people will just blend like just L3 scents or just you know a single vendor's mix and match but I'll mix you know an L3 scoopable with like you know whatever like three different other vendors whatever I, I like to experiment so I did a lot of blending and stuff with this I thought it was good it was a nice you know coffee bakery good I mean I'm not gonna specifically look out for this exact same blend in the future but it was good and I enjoyed it while I warmed it here's my l3 pile so I have a few little samplers at first so here's an example like this was a french vanilla coffee bean espresso I'm pretty sure I warmed this a day I was doing like you know other coffee blends so it was good nothing that I can specifically talk like directly to this little sample but I enjoyed it while I warmed it cannot go wrong with coffee blends this one's blueberry cobbler sugar cookie royale pretty sure caitlin gave this to me in our wax swap so good love blueberry bakery blends love sugar cookie royale this was amazing i definitely look for that in an rts this was sweet lavender twisted peppermint sugar cookie royale finish this one up um, really enjoyed this. I know I've said recently that I'm getting a little sick of the mint blends, but I really liked this one. I think it was a really good mix of like lavender, sugar cookie royal, and peppermint. Like it was good mix of all three of them. So I'd maybe consider looking out for like a lavender bakery peppermint scent again in the future at some point. Maybe not right now, but I enjoyed this while I warmed it. This was just a trig tart in buttermints. So strong so strong on its own but then when I just had a few chunks left I did some mixing um I thought it was really good if you love a strong nice creamy mint scent buttermint's a good one to try this is buttermint buttermint pink sugar crystals actually you know I think I mixed both of these because I think I just had a few chunks left of them this was a trig tart this was a bougie bar really really nice blend just extra sweet um Pink sugar crystals, I'm pretty sure is pink chiffon and pink sugar um, with buttermint. Very nice. Hello Frosty Vanilla Bean Noel Cupcakes at Tiffany's Peppermint. Um, this was good. Again, I just, I just do a lot of mixing. Very good mint bakery blend. Um, can't go wrong with it. I thought it was really good. There was a few mint bags that were just kind of like half empties that I was just working through. Sometimes I so so I associate mint, mint more with winter time, but sometimes mint is good in the summer because it almost adds like a chillness to the air a little bit. So it was actually kind of fun to do it on a warmer day. Rumble buffin, okay, yes, lots of mints right off the bat. Pink sugar, rosemary, mint, amber. This was really good. I enjoyed it. Very pretty mint blend. To be honest, though, it's a little light. I don't know why. Every time I warmed it, I felt like it was a little on the lighter end, but it was so pretty in the bag. Radiant red maple. This was from my wax swap with Caitlin. Definitely smells like bubble gum. A lot of people say this smells like bubble, bubble gum and not the Bath and Body Works type. I've never smelled the Bath and Body Works type, but um, I guess it doesn't smell anything like it, so... If you like bubble gum, try this one out. That was a strong one. This is Rosemary Mint Boom Boom. You know, this is actually a really good summertime scent because the Boom Boom 
just I associate kind of with the summertime that boom boom lotion and then rosemary mint it didn't smell like super strong in your face mint but to me it added like a chillness or like a coolness to the blend so it was really nice and I feel like this would be a great mint summer blend specifically um this was really good like a medium leaning strong blend she has this offered a lot in fact I even think I've seen it now in a couple different shape options on L3's website um so definitely accessible if you do like this blend um we have raspberry grape soda this was a so all of these actually that I'm ending with were loaves this is good I think raspberry grape did I say raspberry grape soda I meant raspberry grape strawberry is this a single scent oil I'm not sure because it didn't smell like her normal fresh picked strawberries this was good to me I think it leaned more grape heavy in this blend I enjoyed it I did it on its own a few times. I did it as a blend with different other fruity scents or other bakery blends. That's usually what I do with loaves. I'll end up mixing and matching. This is like medium to strong, but not like a favorite. I don't think I'd jump to repurchase that. Lavender Salty Sea Air Cotton Candy. This was from my wax swap. Definitely salty sea air heavy with some of that, to me, herbal leaving, leaning lavender. Definitely didn't pinpoint an extra sweetness from the cotton candy, but this was really good and this was like a medium to strong performer. Definitely enjoyed this one. I do like Salty Sea Air. Then last one again from my wax swap with Caitlin. I was trying to savor this because I love it. This one was so good. This is Fat Bottom Girls Don't Cross Dreams Dream Weaver. So good. I love herbal lavender with sweet bakery. It is so good. Um... I would definitely repurchase this or just other lavender bakery blends. This was amazing. We have our next bundle of items here. So I have a few Sassy Girl Aroma ones right on the top. This one's Rolling Scones. Amazing. Oh my gosh, would I get this again? Love, love, love anything Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Bakery. I would buy this in loaves. This was amazing, 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 leaning strong. I loved it. No, Noelle's fluffy birthday. This was fine. To me, more body care vanilla leaning. I enjoyed it, but I don't need more. And it also wasn't like the strongest sassy girl aroma scent I've had. I'd say this was light, maybe leaning medium. Um, but I enjoy more bakery vanilla than body care usually. Top of the muffin to ya. I went through a little phase of wanting to try banana bakery scents and I'm still experimenting with them. I don't dislike them, but for some reason it's not something I immediately jump towards. Um, this was very heavy, runty kind of candy banana at the beginning but after the first few hours that kind of dies off and it's much more bakery leaning like these other bakery notes so it was kind of like a back and forth like I think I liked it um more as the banana died down a little bit I'm still experimenting with banana but I, I don't know if this would be a repurchase but I I I enjoyed it while I warmed it and this was like a medium to strong performer Waffle cone berries. This is her berry waffle cone dupe. Oh my gosh, this is another one I go back and forth with if I like it or not. Um, oddly enough, this smelled a little tropical to me. Like I almost smelled a little bit of pineapple. I'm not sure if that was like my nose. I also feel like I got a little bit of a popcorn note and I don't know how I feel about it. Um, this is another one to me that was like light to medium and not super long lasting um or maybe i just i don't know i just didn't love it so i changed it more quickly um i have a berry waffle cone bath and body work shower gel going and it's the same where i was like i didn't like it at the beginning then when i got like halfway down the bottle i kind of started enjoying it more but the scent had to grow on me um I don't know. I don't think I'd buy more berry waffle cone dupes. I just don't know how I feel about this one. It, it, it wasn't a favorite. I'll just put it that way. Bakery around the corner. Amazing. I loved it. Loved it on its own. This was one of her chunky loaves. Loved it on, on its own. Loved it as a blender. Leaning strong bakery scent. 
would consider getting it again in a loaf. Um, and then I have two Pharmacist Daughter blends. This one's Giggle Juice. This one was very strong. Strongest to me on like the Prosecco and Lemonade. Um, this was definitely a powerhouse. I did this in my bathrooms every once in a while and it definitely leaked out of the bathrooms into our bedroom or into the kitchen. Super, super strong. Not something I need again in like loaf size, but it's fun every now and again to do kind of a bright strawberry, sorry, bright lemonade kind of a scent. And then this is another pharmacist daughter. This was one of my coffee customs from who knows when I didn't write the date, but this was Coffee House Sugar Cookie Royale French Vanilla and I loved it. So good on warm, loved this custom. I, I mean, if my pharmacist daughter um, haul is up before this. You can see I love their coffee and bakery. I mean, I would totally get this again, but I'm satisfied with any coffee house bakery blends that the pharma pharmacist daughter does, and they're all strong. This was super strong. Loved it. We have some Broadway wax. So I know I already touched on this one. Um, but this one was a sample that I got. It was like four little present shapes. I just felt like warming it. I know this is still from just April, but it was a powerhouse, did so well. Um, not super long lasting, but while it was going, it was super strong. Tiffany's apples and berries, super nice, super sweet sugary apple to me with the hint of cupcakes at Tiffany's. Very nice. This was like a, a strong medium scent. Boo's Cupcake at Tiffany's, loved this, so good. Fruity mixed with bakery, so good. Smelled like strawberry candy and a little bit of the cupcakes at Tiffany's. I really liked it and I thought this was like medium to strong. This was, so in my wax swap with Caitlin, she actually gave me a half pie of Boo's Spooky Castle, which is so generous of her, I love that scent. So I put this in a separate bag because I cut up two of the pie pieces, so half of the pie. So I ended up cutting up a quarter pie. So I put it in a separate bag. Um, the first few hours, you definitely get the blueberry, sorry, blueberry, and then the buttery vanilla crunch donuts definitely shines through after the first few hours, like after the blueberry kind of dies down. Oh, the scent is so good. I love it. I'm so thankful she sent me a half pie of it. And then I have, I think I have one bag of mini melters of it, but this scent, so good. I would get it again for sure from her Mario Melter pre-order. This is Lemon Summer Breeze. Oh, so good. Avo bath heavy on cold, but the laundry definitely shines through when you warm it. It's a really good mixture of laundry and avo bath. Um, Avo bath leaning, definitely lemon heavy. Um, so strong, such a good, um, bright, like lemon fresh scent for like the spring and summer, like spring cleaning. Like I did this one Sunday when I was doing a ton of cleaning throughout my apartment and this was the perfect scent to, to melt. One vintage chic scents. Um, this was a bag of her like conversation kiss heart bag. Um, this was Love Story, so this was from her Taylor Swift release. To me, it was strongest on like the raspberry sauce, the little hint of the waffle cone, but I didn't really smell the strawberry in this one. I will say this was a little bit on the light end. I got a throw, like I said, it smelled more raspberry sauce leaning, but it wasn't like super strong. It wasn't like a powerhouse scent. I would say light, maybe medium, but a little bit on the lighter end. Alrighty, so let's move on to this little bundle. Then I have just a few non-wax empties and then we are done with um, this round of empties videos. So I have a few kind of like one-off vendors. This first one I did was a melted mousse sample in Breakfast on the Bayou. This was like a slight fruit berry note with a slight like bakery note, I think. Um, it was a good performer. I just wanted to try a little little scent of the melted mousse. I think soon I will cut into my pre-order that I got. When was that? Was that like a February pre-order? I need to start cutting into those little mini loaves and my full loaves I got for some reason. Like I haven't dipped into them much because I only have a like 
The only melted mousse I have was from that um, winter pre-order. I'm not on her custom list. She doesn't do releases very often or pre-orders, so I'm kind of savoring the wax a little, but I should get to using that to see if I like it. But anyway, the scent itself was not a favorite, but performance-wise was pretty good, so I'm excited to start warming some of my other melted mousse. This is Lured Apothecary Boardwalk Babes. Um, Lured Apothecary, I kind of go back and forth with. At best, for me, it's usually medium. Sometimes I don't smell it at all. Sometimes it's just very light. This one smelled very pretty up close with that boom boom, but um, I really didn't get much of a scent throw from this one. This was one of her lured bags. For the time being, she is closed. Um, she hasn't mentioned if she's gonna, you know, reopen or not, but for right now she is closed. This is Britta's. This was a little skull. I only, I looked back at my order purchases. I've only ever made one order from Britta's Creepy Treasures. This was Trick, trick or Treat. Um, this one actually wasn't very sweet. I think that means it was heavier on zucchini bread, but it wasn't like a spicy zucchini bread. Definitely creamy zucchini bread. Not a total favorite. Um, I ended up mixing this one after I had this in my warmer for like an hour and it wasn't like wowing me. So, oddly enough, like her, some of her scents to me lean like golden graham cereal. I'm not sure why. Not super sweet golden graham, but just slight hint of like a golden graham cereal. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so warm to that. I actually have a good amount of that smell good shop I decided to warm because I got a lot of these in December, so I thought I should give them give them a chance to shine instead of sitting in my collection this one's toasted malo zucchini bread this is a very good zucchini bakery blend um medium leaning throw really nice zucchini noel good zucchini bread blend but i think i prefer zucchini bread bread bakery over zucchini bread like body care again all of that smell good chop is usually like a really good performer medium to strong sweet tooth this was more melon fruity so like i said when there's melons in it usually that note comes out pretty strong didn't really stand out in my memory though um so this must have just been like okay oh i had two sweet tooths this is pocket full of posy so i did this when i was doing some of my body's harmony floral fresh scents today actually so it's really hard to dis distinguish which one's doing well, if they're all doing well, if they're outshining, like one blend is outshining the other. But I mixed this in other warmers that I was doing with the Body's Harmony and it's just a nice clean floral scent. So that's all I'm smelling today. So I'm assuming it's really good. Milk chocolate. If you like Tootsie Roll chocolate scents, you'd love this. This is Strawberry Thumbprint. This was really good. To me, it kind of reminded me a little bit of L3 Strawberry Jam. I really like this. This was like a medium to strong performer. I have a few um, candles from the Keeping Room samples. I am, I don't know, I have yet to break into my, um, my tart bags. I just, because she's closing, it just makes me want to savor my bags. I do want to start warming them soon, but for the time being, I've just been warming my samples. This one's Sugar Cookie Flapjack. Um, this was really good. I enjoyed this. I got the cookie sweetness with a little bit of like flapjack breadiness, I guess. Um, I really enjoyed this. This one was a little bit on the lighter end. I smelled it. I had it on my desk while I was working one day, so I'm really close to that warmer. So I did smell it, but from far away, I don't know if it would have held up for a super good scent throw, but you know, always hard to tell when it's a single tart, not spread out through multiple warmers. Um, for me so far, what I've noticed is candles from the keeping room is super strong while it's going. It's not the longest lasting, but I'm happy if performer if performance is really strong for a short period of time. I'd rather enjoy the scent and I have no problem changing out a scent once or twice a day. I actually like doing that because even if I have a, a long lasting scent, I'll usually change it by at least the second day because I just like to try new things anyway. So I don't mind if a scent isn't super long lasting, but I like when they're strong while they're going. And that's how Carol's Wax does for me. This is Pretzel. 
Um, not a favorite for me personally. It's a bit too like doughy, doughy pretzel for me. Um, but if you like that doughy pretzel note, you'll probably like this. Um, this one is homemade blackberry jam sugar cookie biscuits. Again, don't love blackberry jam butter cookies, but it was tolerable compared to some of the blackberry jam butter cookie scents that I've done from other vendors in the past. But I probably wouldn't like jump to repurchase this one, but I didn't mind it while it was going. And then the last one was Ultimate Bakery. Um, this was a very nice sweet bakery. I couldn't tell you, like I couldn't pinpoint that it was like, oh, this was a cookie bakery or oh, this was a cake bakery. It just smelled like a nice bakery scent. Not distinguishable bakery notes, but just a nice bakery scent. Um, I liked it. I'd consider purchasing it maybe if I saw it in one of her releases, but it's not probably like my number one thing that I would try to get right away. But I do love a good bakery scent. And then the last things that I have here are a few Destination Wax Bars. Again, I've gotten a ton of Destination Wax Bars. You can see in my past hauls, I think I've done two big Destination Wax orders. So I thought, you know what, I better get to start warming some of these because some of these were poured almost a year ago at this point. So I thought, you know what, let me start warming because you can see here, like they put the pour dates on the back. This one's almost a year old at this point from June, 2021. This first one was Pink Raspberry Lilac. I liked this, but it wasn't like a favorite. A lot of Destination Wax Bars, to me, give me a slight like bath bomb -y scent. I'm not sure why, like a little bath bomb scent in the background. And I got this with this one as well. Um, she says like not too sweet, not too floral. And I'd agree with that. Like it's, it's if you're not a floral lover, you could still give this a try, even though there's like lilac in here but you know this wasn't anything that I it stands out in my memory that I would need to repurchase but you know good while I warmed it um Destination Wax is a good like medium performer for me this one's Moon Spice Cookie I mix this with other coffee blends the day I warm this so I I apologize I can't really speak to this one directly but on cold when I smelled this this was a really nice warm like warm spice with a little bit of coffee um so yeah if you like a, a kind of gentle spice coffee blend you'd probably like this one lavender rosemary i it didn't smell like rosemary mint to me like it smelled more like herbal rosemary or something like i know rosemary the herb is still like a rosemary mint herb i think but this didn't come off minty this came off more like an herbal lavender blend um with no mintiness if that makes sense or if it was rosemary mint I didn't pick up on the mint of the rosemary it was more herbal again totally gave me like a lush bath bomb vibe I don't know why that is um I enjoyed it while I warmed it it was a good medium thrower but um not like a repurchase this one was raspberries and sugar I I don't know why it is, but again, smelled a little bath bomby to me. Um, this one was a little bit on the lighter end to me though. Um, their wax is super soft. Um, you don't need to microwave it to cut it. Even though it is a clamless clamshell, I usually cut it with, um, you know, one of my wax cutters, like, you know, they're like vegetable cutters. I'll usually cut it with one of those because if you break it, it's just so soft that it kind of like melts in your hand a little bit and it doesn't break super easily so I slice it with a little um wax chopper um and they also have the prettiest little delicate glitter on their wax and then this is Avo Lemon I actually warmed this when I did that um I don't know if I can find it right at the top here but when I when I did that like lemon laundry like that Avo Bath plus laundry ro rose girls blend um, I did that one all throughout kind of my open concept office area and then I did this one in my bedroom that day because I figured, you know, might as well do a keep on the alpha bath trend that day I was warming. So that was really nice. Hard to distinguish, dist messing up my words here. Hard to distinguish if it was the Rose Girls one or this one that I was smelling, but either way, it was a powerhouse alpha bath day that I warmed this and the Rose Girls one. 
So that is all my wax melt empties. I know it's a lot. I get through a lot of wax. I change my wax multiple times a day, usually like at least twice. And I have a lot of warmers throughout my apartment. I love a good powerhouse scent. Um, just a few body care um, items. This is a little Bath and Body Works lotion. Don't know how old this was. This is when the body care, the travel body care was $5. So I think that was a while ago because I think the body care is like $7.50 or $8.50 now. Um, this was really good. Can't tell you when I finish this up though. Like it smells really good. But who who knows when I finish this? Because I found this in my car in the little like console, the middle console, and it was like this empty. So I don't know when I warmed or warmed when I actually finished this, but um thought I'd show it since it's in here. I have where did I put that now? I had a little I had a little Scentsy Scent Circle, but where did I put that? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. I knew I had this, so I didn't want to forget. So whenever I get these, usually I get them in like Happy Mail from my um, Scentsy Consultant, Hannah. Um, they last very strong performers for like two days, and then usually I don't smell them anymore from after like a, a few days. But I keep them in my car for like months on end because I forget to take them out. Um, so this was very blessed. Um, yeah. And then one foaming hand soap and champagne toast. Here's the scent notes. A very good one. This has been a repurchase in body hair, in um, candle. My husband loves this scent. And then my shampoo and conditioners that I finished up are these Garnier, Garnier Fructis. Um, just finished these two up since the last time I did a different... When was the last time I showed it my shampoo empty? I think it was a Tresemme bottle. Um, so I've been working on this since I last showed a shampoo empty. Um, this time I got the ratios right and I was able to kind of finish up the shampoo and conditioner at the same time. I liked it. I've definitely repurchased Garnier fruit teas in the past, but whenever I change shampoo and conditioners, um, like when I finish one, like I just finished Garnier fruit teas, usually I switch up the brand and the like scent the next time just so I don't get bored of it. But yeah, that was my empties, my wax melt empties and a few non empties. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.